In the enchanting kingdom of chess, a certain maverick named Chuck found delight not in the battle of kings and queens, but in the laughter that echoed around the digital chessboard. Equipped with nothing more than his trusty mouse and a twinkle in his eye, Chuck decided to shake up the chess world with the infamous England Gambit. Why, you may ask? Well, why gallivant down the worn paths of conventional openings when you can choreograph your own eccentric dance? With a smirk playing on his lips, Chuck catapulted the England Gambit into play. The surprise etched on his opponent's face was priceless. The game had barely sprung into action, and Chuck was already splashing his unique colors across the chessboard. Chuck knew the power of a good laugh, and he wielded it like a weapon. His pawns were flung into the fray with reckless abandon, creating a spectacle that left his opponent bewildered, as if they had somehow wandered into an alternate chess reality. Chuck's strategy was more than a series of moves. It was a theatrical performance. His nonsensical sacrifices left his opponent disoriented, caught in the whirlwind of Chuck's unpredictable play style. Every piece Chuck moved echoed with the sound of traditional chess norms being flippantly tossed aside. His queen danced through the chaos, weaving a web of mate threats that left his opponent's head spinning. Chuck's knight twirled across the board, creating threats, blunders, and moments of uproarious comedy. His moves were not about precision. They were about joy, about the thrill of the game, about the laughter that echoed with every unexpected twist and turn. The grand finale arrived when Chuck, in a move that seemed to defy all logic, sacrificed his knight to open the H-file. His opponent, swept up in the madcap comedy of Chuck's game, took the bait. What they didn't know was that Chuck had set the stage for a checkmate on H2. As Chuck reveled in the glory of his unlikely victory, he couldn't help but burst into laughter. The game had been a symphony of sacrifices, a comedy of errors, and a testament to the joy of playing chess with the spirit of mischief and merriment. With a silent round of applause from the chess gods, Chuck closed his laptop, content in the knowledge that he had brought a touch of humor to the sacred game of chess. The England gambit had never been so entertaining, and Chuck, the jester of the chess world, reveled in the applause of invisible spectators who appreciated the beauty of a game played not for perfection, but for the sheer delight of the journey.